Welcome to Nutley Cisco Academy. Our topic is throughput and bandwidth. Let's get started with the basics. What is throughput, John? Uh, well, I feel like bandwidth is kind of a better topic to start off on because bandwidth is like the total maximum amount of uh, information that can kind of go through your computer. Like uh, with, you could buy higher uh, amounts of bandwidth from different uh, internet providers to get more internet speed and basically a larger internet highway. Like if you think of bandwidth as a highway, you can only have so many cars uh, moving on it. You know what I'm saying? You can't have uh, too much information and uh, other factors such as, for example, car accidents could limit uh, how it can be used. Uh, do you want to talk about throughput, Troy? Um, throughput is how much data can be transferred from one location to another at a certain time. It is used to measure the performance of hard drives and RAM and internet and network connections. Well, like um, and, uh, throughput is like the amount of data that can like trans that gets through the computer. Yeah. Um, and also through understanding what bandwidth and throughput is, you can also find out the efficiency of both of them. So if you have a hundred miles, a um, hundred megabyte like connection. But however, only like 70 is getting through. That is a 70% efficiency. Yeah, so like, uh, while bandwidth is like the maximum amount of information that can go through, throughput is more like what actually is like your speed uh, based on whatever limiting factors are changing uh, your bandwidth. So you're saying bandwidth and throughput both go hand in hand? Basically, yeah. yeah. Okay, um, now, would you explain if um, there was a interruption between a throughput connection, how would that limit your bandwidth? So if there was an interruption through your throughput, it, pretty much you would have a very, almost like you understand the feelings of a laggy server, something that connection doesn't come as fast. Because these always go in a system of like almost give and take, kind of to talk to the server. However, if I were to like speak you through like a glass wall, or like speak a word at a time, it will take you long to understand what I'm trying to say. Yes. That's what's happening. Okay. Um, now, let me ask you. Uh, let me ask you a question, Troy. Um, if we had very limited bandwidth, how could that uh, impact our performance um, using like a streaming service like YouTube or like a music streaming service like Spotify or SoundCloud? It would just like slow down that speed. So like, um, it will like affect the throughput as well. So like. The data that's being transferred will really slow it up. So also like um, in streaming services, especially video streaming, because there's a lot more data involved, there they might have to use buffering to allow for uh, all the data to come to like be streamed before being displayed. Because with uh, smaller bandwidth, you don't you can't have as much information transfer. And uh, these days with like ultra HD and like high like high resolution outputs, you really need a lot of uh, data and therefore need a lot of bandwidth. So that's why if I were to have a bad internet connection, like let's say if I use my LTE on my phone, it takes a while for like a YouTube video to... Yeah, yeah because it has yeah. a smaller bandwidth. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, John, let me ask you a question on bandwidth. Um, now, if we have a extremely high bandwidth, but we're getting barely any throughput. Yes. Um, I mean, that could be due to like uh, multiple circumstances. Like it could just be that uh, you have a lot of other people on your network. Like you might have a um, hundred megabits per second uh, bandwidth, but if there are, you have like five other people on that network streaming video, then the bandwidth basically has to be divided amongst you. And that's basically the biggest thing that a, uh, so that uh, changes your throughput because uh, you can only have um, so much going through your bandwidth at one time. Like you could say that throughput never really equals bandwidth. So don't ever think that, oh, how much bandwidth I'm going to get is how much throughput I'm going to get. There's always so many other factors that kind of contribute to do how high your throughput is going to be. So no matter how much uh, bandwidth I do have originally, I can only have a certain amount of throughput if there's multiple people on the network. Or yes, because things. it's going to be divided amongst those people. Okay. Depending on like what services they're using. Like, I mean, if they're just like browsing the internet as opposed to streaming a video, that's obviously going to change the amount of like uh, bandwidth draw. 
But um, overall, it just it's better not to be um, streaming things uh, in other rooms or other people if you want to have maximum throughput. Now, um, also, do you think it is bad for uh, bandwidth to be limited at a certain point or to be capped at Peter? To be capped at a certain point? Yes. Well, there is only so much a bandwidth can hold. Just like, I always imagine it as not just a highway, as a tube. So, and if you were to pour sand on it, it's just how big the tube is, it's how much it can carry. And having a cap, I mean, it's really hard to have a, a wire that can definitely exchange information at an indefinite size. There's always these limitations to how big these cables, these wires, these channels can be. Mm -hmm. So you're saying that no matter, like, how hard we try, we it's it would be hard to achieve unlimited bandwidth. It was, it was basically like there's physical limitations. You know, there's only so much data that can be transported uh, wirelessly or wired. Okay. Um, now, if I'm the only person on my network, and I have um, a very high bandwidth cap, but I do have very limited throughput. So let's say. There, I'm the only person on my network, and I'm lagging on a video game or a YouTube video. How would like how does that work with throughput? So like you're getting all the data, like it's get it's going to you, but like it's not gonna the throughput's just what's gonna be transferred. So you're not like getting most of your stuff transferred over. So I am getting all the data. It's just it's just taking a longer process of coming to yes. my connection. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, if my uh, host or my ISP um, decides it needs maintenance for my for at their stores, like if there was a storm and something happened there where they don't have power, how do they relay? How do they keep that bandwidth coming to my connection if there's not enough? Like if they're having problems at their end. Um, I mean, usually there's like multiple uh, stations for uh, for like kind of keeping. Uh, also, there's peer to peer connection. Mo Internet's mostly like peer to peer stuff, and uh, so it's less about. Uh, well, it is about the uh, network providers, but usually they have like uh, backups and such and so forth. Um, all right. Thank you for listening. This is Netlease's Academy signing off.